Hi again, Monsters. Here we go. Let's take a look at our public service announcement. Choosing not to take today's quiz is a choice to fail. It's like turning in a blank paper. When the time comes, stay focused, do your best. If you need more time, you can let me know in the exit ticket at the end of the period. All of today's work is due no later than, actually, it says Wednesday, January 24th. It should say Tuesday, April 8th, 9th, 9th. Uh, after that, it's a four. I did not try. So be legendary, like the legends of tomorrow. Our spaghetti structure summative, uh, the rubric, you have access to it. I'm going to actually go through sections, so I'm not going to click on the link here. But if you did, it's hot linked. It'll connect for you. There are four depth of knowledge levels. Level one is recall. Uh, a lot of those are actually worth one or zero points. Level two is skills and concepts, a little more thought. Level three is strategic thinking, getting more abstract. And level four is extended thinking. That's why we have those discussions in class to try to get you the opportunity to have those better answers on that. There are the five learning standards. You already saw them in the intro. Part one of your test. It's broken into five parts. It's 15 total questions. Three, three, one, three, and five, if I'm remembering correctly. So section one, um, 1 1.1, I can select the challenge I completed. It's a drop down. And the only thing on the drop down for the spaghetti structures quiz is spaghetti structures. It's going to be really easy to get that one correct. 1.2. I can correctly identify three or more skills I used or honed within my fuse challenge. Uh, pick three skills off the wall. Don't make it up. Use the word wall. That's your tip on that. And 1.3, I can discuss the steps I took to hone or learn three or more skills within my fuse challenge. Describe how did you use your skills that you mentioned in 1.2. Don't just repeat the skills. Don't mention spaghetti necessarily. Because the spaghetti structures, remember, is the title of it. It's not necessarily exactly what you're doing. Describe what you did. Okay? Live, you can pause there if there's any questions on that. Um, section two, I can describe my project timeline from start to finish. What was your timeline? For this one, it's pretty easy. You had the challenge the other day and then 18 minutes yesterday. Did you follow the fuse site? Did you make a plan? Did you just you did you use a calendar? Did you just watch the timer on the board? For, like I said, for this challenge, it's pretty easy. I can identify my ability to follow the timeline. It's opinion. You did it, you kind of did it, or you didn't do it. So I can't really give you points for that because it's an opinion. 2.3, I can identify the ways my project timeline helped me to stay on task. I can discuss how I was ahead of or in line with my timeline. Or maybe you were a mess. I can discuss how I fell behind my timeline and why. How did your timeline help? 2.2 already looked at if you followed it. So what made it good or bad? Live again, you can pause there if necessary. Okay, section three. This is usually the hardest part of the test. I can share details of positive and negative societal impacts and societal, cultural, and economic impacts of this challenge as it relates to the outside world. It is not about you. It's not about the name of the challenge. Tangled isn't the main character in Tangled. How are your skills used in the outside world? What's good about that? What's bad about that? Um, don't tell me, hey, from this challenge, I learned how to be a builder. How does this relate to construction in the outside world? That's what we're looking on on that. If there's questions, good pausing point. Okay, four. 4.1, 2, and 3, these are all real questions worth real points. Uh, this is the big one, right? So 4.1, what are two things you like about the challenge? Steps, materials, timing, etc. What is good? What are two things you dislike about the challenge? The steps, the materials, the timing, etc. How would you change these two things? Two points for the two things, two points for what you would change four points total. Based on your answers to those two questions, how does that make the challenge better? Good pausing point if necessary. On to number five. Okay. Five, honestly, it says there, this page should be clear. I think it should be. I can describe the feedback I received from my teacher and or classmates. You worked in groups. You got some feedback from somebody. That should be an easy point. I can identify two or more ways the feedback improved my work on my challenge. Maybe it didn't, but at least discuss what it did for you. Get those two points. I can select the challenge my peer completed. It's spaghetti structures. Again, an easy one. I can describe the feedback I did or would submit to a classmate. 
and how that would help them do better on the challenge. Five total points on that. That is your rubric. That is your explanation of things. I'm going to get myself out of the way so you can see those notes are there. If you're not nervous, you don't care, according to Chef Voltaggio. Love that guy. Made the uh, meme on my own, actually, just for this purpose. Your spaghetti structure summative. It's right there. Three Delta Oscar, uniform Juliet Delta Whiskey. If you haven't finished your final vocab quiz, do that next. Three X-ray, X-ray, golf uniform, Charlie November. And then if you have vocab word circles still out there, it's past due. But if you started previously, search hashtag Fuse in your Google Drive. Don't make a new copy. Have a really great day. Be nice to everybody. Good luck on your quiz. Ask questions if you have them. Love you. Happy Friday.